I am slowly starting to get things together for my 2022 planning. I am really looking forward to using my Louis Vuitton desk agenda. And so I have ordered a few different things to put into it. And so I wanted to go through and do a comparison of the Hobonichi Cousin and the Stology. This has been a journey for me. If you are new here, welcome. My name is May. I create videos about all kinds of different lifestyle topics from manifestation to planning, finances, wellness. We talk about it all. So welcome. I'm happy to have you here. So I had the Hobonichi last year. I decided not to use it. I actually had the Stology too, but um, I did did not like the paper. I still do not like the paper, but what I, my vision for this is that I want to have my entire year in one book. There's just nothing better than that. And honestly, that desire is like overtaking everything else. Um, I love memory keeping. I really want to focus on scripting, on memory keeping, on um, quotes, on scripture, on just really having a book that is a feel good for the entire year. So there's not going to be any rules on how I use these. It's not going to be like a functional planning planner. This is really going to be just a place um, for everything that makes me happy, for memories, for all of that. Um, I do have a Planner Perfect yearly book that I had been using for the entire year of 2021 for my memory keeping. And that was really lovely, but it just only has the month and then four pages. And I just wanted more. So... Let's do a comparison of these two books. I'll show you how they fit in the Moterm and the Louis Vuitton desk agenda. Um, and please let me know your comments. I want to know what you're thinking, what you're using, pros, cons. Tell me all of it. So let's take a look first actually at the Stology because honestly, there's not a lot to look at here. It's a beautiful book. I mean, it's so classic and chic. I love the black and gold combo. It's a nice thick cover. This one is the complete 365. So this has 365 pages. It is for an entire year. They do also make a half notebook. Um, and cost-wise, I think this is around $20, maybe $25, something like that. So um, definitely a lot for a notebook, but it is really beautiful and in theory could be your planner for the whole year. If you are a bullet journaler and want to set this up as a bullet journal, this would be amazing. So let's take a look inside. I love this really clean, classic gray. And then it just goes straight into the pages. So let me flip here so you can kind of see the top of it has the month, the days of the week, and then the numbers one through 31. Let me see if this will focus for you. So it's very light. It's very small. It's not noticeable at all. So if you don't want to use that you don't have to the pages have this very light faint graph to them it's in just this very light gray color so if you like to use that you can I personally actually prefer blank pages but this is so light that it's barely noticeable so this is the setup and then it's just blank so you can do whatever you want and again the paper is that Tamoy River paper which I am not a fan of, but the amazing thing about this is that, first of all, you can use any medium that you want. You can watercolor, stickers, washi, markers, highlighters. This paper will take it all. It does amazingly well. So that is a huge benefit. And also because it is so thin, it allows for so many pages in the book. And that's why Hobonichi can do the entire year in one book. So this is a beautiful notebook. I am leaning towards not using this for memory keeping, but using it more as like a forward planner in the sense that you know, I have project as projects and ideas in my head and I just know that maybe an idea is something that I want to put into Q2 of 2022, for example. So I kind of envision splitting this book up into four quarters 
and just having it as a catch-all place for ideas, projects, and anything that I kind of want to forward plan in the sense that I just want to remember it in a certain quarter of the year. So I definitely plan in seasons or quarters. Um, I have lots of videos on that if you're interested in learning more about how I do that. But I'm thinking that that is what I will use for this. Let me show you how it fits into these. So in the Moterm, it is a lovely fit. It looks beautiful in here. And I'm thinking that this is actually how I will use it. It just slides right in. If you don't have one of these Moterm covers, what are you waiting for? These are incredible. They're available on Amazon. So affordable, beautiful real leather they feel amazing they're luxurious they're soft tons of pockets it's just amazing i think it's so beautiful and chic and so i will link these for you all this is my number one like favorite planner thing that i've gotten off amazon are these covers um, i have it in this and a taupe a pebbly leather taupe this croc comes and goes so be sure to keep checking back. I'll update on Instagram um, when I see it because I'm always looking for this. So beautiful. The Stology is a perfect fit inside the Moterm. And then let's look at it inside the desk agenda. It also fits perfectly in here. I think personally think it's a little too thin to be in the desk agenda. I mean, size-wise, it's good, but I would like it to be a little chunkier. I know as I use it and put things on the pages, it'll get bigger, but I think it's a little bit um, too thin for the desk agenda. So that is the Stology. Let's move on to the Hobonichi. Okay, again, I bought one of these for 2021 decided I didn't like it, but now here I am back again, and it's because the entire year is in this book. Okay, so when we open it up, not a huge fan of this color, but this can be covered. One more thing to note, this is the entire year in one book. Hobonichi does also make the Avec model, which splits up the year into two books. So you essentially get two half size of this um, for the entire year. So if you are someone that likes to put a lot of stickers, a lot of washi, print out pictures, all that kind of stuff, you may want to consider getting the Avec version, which is just the year split into two. But I have the um, classic version that has the whole year in one. So some reference pages, 2022 and 2021 in the beginning. And then it also does have an overview of the year. So here is the first six months, January through June. It's a vertical. This is nice if you want an overview of your year. If you do want to plug in projects here, you want to use it as a habit tracker. It has the entire month listed and it does have some space down here for notes or decorations. So here is the first half of the year and then the second half again vertical for forward planning or big picture planning I think this is great and then it goes straight into the monthly layouts now it's important to note that Hobonichi puts all the months together then all the weeks together then every day together so it's not split up per month everything is grouped um, together so starts in December of 2021 if you want to um, do any memory keeping or you want to move right in there's also a area around for notes or decorations it's a Monday start which I absolutely love and then Saturday and Sunday are kind of designated with these colors there is a little bit too much on these pages. I will say that I said it before, like I'm not a huge fan of how much is on here, but it is so light that you can kind of ignore it or change it or cover it up if you want to. Again, this is that same Tamoy River paper. So you can see when they are, the two pages are together, it is see-through, but this paper takes all mediums. So don't be afraid to use it. And that's really what I wanted it for. I wanted something that I could use. I could jot down notes, memories. I could print on my Canon IV and stick a, a picture that's a sticker on here. I wanted to be able to use it and really have the entire year in one book and be able to look back on it. So here are the months. It does go all the way through. So it goes through December 2022, 
plus an additional three months of 2023. So the first quarter of 2023 is in here as well in the monthly. So January, February, March. And then it goes straight into the weeks. Again, a vertical layout, which I absolutely love. And this can be used for a variety of things. I'm thinking to use it um, to maybe put some scripture I am a member of the Baha'i Faith, and I really like to um, read the writings in the morning and say my prayers and just have a place to reflect would be nice. Maybe this will be a memory spread for me for one week if I don't have a lot to write. Um, I just want to use it however it feels good in that moment. And so... I wanted something that um, I wouldn't get too worried about using it. I wanted to just be able to jump right in. So again, a little column here that is blank and then the vertical, there is um, hourly here. And again, that same graph design, but it's not a huge deal if you don't wanna use it. Monday start, my absolute favorite. So it goes through all of the weeks and then we get to the daily pages. So I love that it says turning the page to a new year and we go into the daily pages. Another thing to note, in the daily section, each month has a different little color so you can quickly switch to it. I would probably still add tabs anyway, but there is at least a little bit of a designation there on the side. So we go straight into one page per day. Each month does have this kind of like cover page. And I love this for like a vision board or a vibe or a theme that you want to have for the month. And then the daily pages, again, for memory keeping. Some months of the year, sometimes I do like little challenges or journal prompts or gratitude, all that kind of stuff. I just wanted to have a page per day that I could do whatever I wanted with. So I am excited for this does have this writing at the bottom. There's really no way to get around that. Hobonichi is a Japanese company. So I actually think it's really cool to have a little bit of culture as a part of this as well. And again, the colors are not so much that um, you can't just kind of blend them away, I guess. You can just kind of make it your own with decorations. There's lots of kits out there. Um, so this goes through all the days. And then at the back, there are some note pages. And then some reference pages as well. Again, some of this is in Japanese. There's like, I think a gift guide here. Um, and then these note pages. So just a fun little book. Right now I'm feeling it. I don't know how well this is gonna, how much I'm gonna be able to handle the paper. So I'm gonna give it a go again. We'll see what happens. So let's take a look in the Moterm. It, it will fit, but it's a little it's a little chunky for the mode term. Let me say that. So um, I would definitely recommend putting the Stology in here um, and then maybe putting this in the desk agenda. So it's a little chunky, but it will fit. Um, but I love it in the desk agenda. It's like the perfect size. And I think as it gets um, even chunkier from putting different things in throughout the year, I think it'll fill it out really nicely. So look at this beautiful fit. I really, really like it. So I'm thinking that this is what I'm going to go with, but I'm still going to hang on to this Stology. We're just basically back again where we, <laughs> where we were last year. Um, so please share your tips with me. I'm going to give these both another go. I am excited to hear what you guys are doing for 2022 and your planning. I hope this video was helpful to kind of see the comparison of the two. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.